Welcome back to The Mother Isha. I've missed you guys so much and while I was away, I actually started a vlog channel. So if you guys are into my non-DIY videos and want to get to know me on a more intimate, personal level, be sure to check out those videos. That is actually where I'm going to continue my alien conspiracy series and just like try out other challenges and just like non-crafty videos. Before I move on with this video, scroll down and let me know in the comments, are you guys holosexuals? I definitely am, as you can see from my shirt. And if you guys were lucky enough to grab one of these while they were still available, can we just like connect over the fact that this is the most beautiful holographic intense shirt ever like this camera does not do it justice today i'm actually going to attempt to recreate the holographic highlighter by the brand milk today's video is also a collaboration with some of my good friends here on youtube and we're all bringing different kinds of variety videos for you guys to watch i'm going to create a playlist down in the description box below so click that and that way you guys can watch all the videos in this collaboration timmy tomato will be making an edible disney world glitter forever 17 will be making a giant edible eos Karina Garcia will be making a stress ball phone case. Glamour Life Fox will be making a giant edible Sharpie. Alejandro Valdez will be making an Oreo pizza. Slava will be making a tampon EOS. <laughs> Nicole Skies will be taking an Orbeez bath. And finally, Haley Williams will be sharing some incredible life hacks with you. If you guys want to see more DIY makeup tutorials, be sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know. And please take a moment to hit the subscribe button because we're trying to reach 600,000 stylers. All right, guys, so like most of my DIY makeup tutorials, we're going to start off by adding in beeswax to a just like a microwave safe cup. If you guys want a vegan alternative, you can also use Cornelba or Candelia wax. All these things can be found on Amazon in case you guys are wondering. I know they're kind of like strange, random, weird ingredients, but it's doable. Now you need some kind of fat. So in my case, I'm using coconut oil, but you can use pretty much any kind of um, oil. You can also use Vaseline if you have that. Next, I'm going to take this duo chrome highlighter that I got from Artist Couture and I'm going to sprinkle a tad bit of that in. Now I'm using this pigment that actually, I think I've had this since like elementary school, <laughs> but um, I'm dusting it in a little bit of that. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some holographic disco dust, which is non-toxic cake decorating glitter. But if you guys have like actual cosmetic grade stuff, then of course that's always preferable. So I'm just adding in a tad, actually not really, just a tad. I'm adding in a lot of that. <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and stick it into the microwave. Now be careful and use the microwave because I, my microwave almost exploded. And then after I finished uh, heating it up for in like 30 second intervals, this is what it started to do. What is this? What kind of science? What kind of black magic is this? And then I decided to add in some more glitter and maybe it was a little too much glitter, but life is short. A little trick that you guys can do is to take a cold spoon and stick it in and then you can see just how much it's going to harden once it's like sat and stuff. And then you can like touch it with your fingers and see how it will interact with your skin. If it's too hard, that means you're going to have to go ahead and add in some more oil. And then if it's too soft, you're gonna go ahead and add in some more wax. So in my case, I discovered that after it hardened on the spoon, it was too dry. So I decided to add in about, I'd say, half a tablespoon of coconut oil. So that's what I did here. And then I went ahead and dusted in way more of this stuff because for some reason it, it was not transferring the color and the pigment was not transferring enough. So I went ahead and added in a ton more. And then I heated up for 30 more seconds. I went ahead and I tested it again to see how it would interact with the spoon. And this time when I touched it with my you know, with my finger and saw how it interacted with my skin, my body heat, um, I noticed that it was like a perfect consistency. It was moist enough to where it would act like an actual, you know, like a face product. So in this case, we are set, but I found that the color still wasn't transferring. So I added in some more pigment, I added in some more glitter. And honestly, you guys, outside of this video, I added in even way more than what you're seeing here. I mean, this looks insane, but it honestly is not that insane, especially with it being the, the disco dust. I think like it's not as fine as eyeshadow. So it kind of like floats and sits on the bottom. So I think that's what the issue was here, but uh, <laughs> I just went ahead and I added a ton of everything. Have fun with it, you guys. Make this all crazy. I almost considered putting in the whole thing, but that's okay. So here I'm using a clear deodorant container that I got off of Amazon. You can get this. And this is actually a push uh, container. And this looks really similar to the milk 
container. Do you guys not agree? Like it works really perfectly for those. So then I used this little spoon to transfer it in and this worked out great as you can see. And then I'm dusting on some more glitter on top just because. So after this, I went ahead and actually carried this downstairs and I put it in the fridge for like 30 minutes into the freezer specifically. And then after that, um, it was all ready to go and this is what it looks like. Doesn't it look amazing? Well, it's just really exciting, you guys. This is what it looks like. It's duochrome, just like the highlighters and shadows that I used to make this. And um, I hope you guys enjoy. That is some intense shine. Whoa, so we're going to go down to one that out a ton. Alright guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to watch all the other people in today's collaboration and give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Don't forget to subscribe and if you guys want to stay connected on all my social media accounts, all that information will be in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. I love you guys to the moon and I will see you soon. Keep smiling!